Hello everyone, welcome to Caroline's Craftery and today I am cutting apart my wax seals. Why you ask? I'm going to show you. So in the first video we did some um, wax seals from crispire.com and remember use the coupon code Caroline5. They have tons of stuff. So now I've got some scissors and I've got a razor knife and I've got a few of the wax seals I made and a whole bunch that I have cut up. So let's get started on this and I will show you why I'm going to cut them up and what I did with them. So this is a great way to use up um, wax seals that didn't turn out um, or ones that did turn out whatever and you can remelt all these bits and pieces and make more wax seals so these ones actually all turned out pretty good but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my scissors and I want to cut out that little design in the middle. Why do I want to cut it out? Why not? Just something a little bit different. And then I don't get that bulky edge that's on the wax seals that is supposed to be on the wax seals. So this wax cuts really easy. I'm just using my Tim Holtz scissors love these scissors. I'm not going to be real picky on around the edge. Some designs of course are way harder to cut out. There's the piece I can remelt and this is what I end up with. So let's do, we got this really cute butterfly and I don't know if you can see it. Let's see. Let's find the right here. Maybe you can see it better on the seal itself. But it's got kind of a round scalloped edge. I want to cut it around that. So it's going to be a circle. So here I go. And it's just so nice that you can just reuse all the stuff that you cut off. And I'll show you a couple tags I made using some of these little wax seal embellishments. So there is my two pieces. Cut them up into smaller pieces and you're set. So now this one here, let's go ahead and I'm going to put this on it like we did in the last one. Now, I don't know, I've only done half of it. And I hope it shows up in camera. The difference that, that little bit of ink makes on there just makes it stand out that little bit more. I know Chris Byer sells um, like felts, I guess you would call them, but different like silver and bronze and gold and all that. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to help on this pink. But let's see. It does help make that butterfly stand out just that little bit more. Okay. So there is those two things. Now there is two of those. Let's, I've got a couple here that are already made. So now how cute are those little embellishments? This is so easy to do up. 
And then I have a couple, and these are from the ones that we made in part one. This was the flower that didn't turn out very good, but it turned out fine to cut it apart. These have not been um, with the white on them. So let's just go ahead and put the white on this. Just The first time I did wax seals, I didn't know about um, putting a little bit of ink or something on the top of them. Just to make it stand out that little tiny bit. Um, not sure on what kind of felts you could actually use. I think as long as it would stick to wax. Like a, you know, a Bic marker or even something like that might work. I'm going to buy some of the pens from Respire just so I have them. Probably do get like a black... Um, a gold, silver, bronze ones, just those types of colors. Um, I looked and I had no kind of felt pens at all that would work for this. They were the right color. Um, the pink, of course, I think it'd be better with a little bit darker on it. But anyways, now you're going to ask, what do I do with these? Well, here is two examples. Here is a tag that I made using just some collage, a few bits and pieces of trims, and then one of the cutouts from, I um, can't remember the name of the kit, but it's got a whole bunch of um, Victorian type cutouts. I'll leave a link for that below. And there is one of the dragonflies right on the top of that tag. So then it doesn't add the bulk, and of course it's quite a bit smaller. So there's that one. Then there is another tag, made the same way, just collage background. This is from my sewing pattern ladies cutout. I'll leave the link for that one too. And there is the flower, just as part of the tag top. So simple, so easy, and I love how it looks. Um, you get a fairly flat embellishment. Um, I'm always after ways of not adding so much bulk to our journals. Because after a while, it can get pretty thick. And I think we've all made those big, thick journals that just kind of flop open, and they're wonderful. But sometimes it's nice to just have it a little flatter. So this is one way to use a wax seal. Um, because this, I don't know if you can see this or not. But you can see there's quite a difference in the thickness. Um, this one that I cut apart is probably about half the thickness without that round edge on it. So just another way that we can use those wax seals and do something nice with them. And again, it totally depends on your center part, what you want to cut out. Um, some are easy, some are hard. So the more simple the pattern, the easier it is. So I hope you enjoyed this quick little tutorial on this and give it a short try. And we'll see you again soon. Bye.